Hey, what's up, friends? So excited to get to connect with you this lovely, wonderful winter in Northwest Ohio. Yep, we've gone from hot to cold, hot to cold. I'm hoping we are in our last uh, fake, what do they call that, uh, Indian summer? I think is what it's called. I'm hoping we're in our, our last Indian winter, whatever is called, and we are getting ready to roll on forward with spring. Who's ready? Anyways, I want to jump on here and just really, I, you know, every week for Tune Around Tuesdays, we are really believing because the Lord spoke it. This isn't something we've made up, but we are really believing this is a season for family restoration. And we are standing for your sons and daughters, our sons and daughters, many sons and daughters that are going to have a bold return home in this season. And so um, we will be back on our prayer call tomorrow morning, Tuesday, 8 a.m. Eastern time. So love for you to join us. We, man, we need your voice, honestly. You know, when we talk about this grand symphonic procession of prayer and the harmonious agreement that comes out of Matthew 18 and the Ecclesia, it's really that sound that's released from all of our voices coming together. And so we need your agreement on the call. So I hope you'll join us. But, um, you know, I was really crying out yesterday going, Lord, what do you want us to pray for this week? And I have sensed that his people are weary, that you are weary, that you have stood in the gap for a long time, that perhaps, you know, what is unseen it doesn't feel as clear as what is seen in the natural before you and so i really want to pray together tomorrow for strength we're going to come on the call and we are going to agree with all of heaven that listen his yoke is easy and his burden is light and we are not going to pick up these heavy burdens of responsibility and we are going to ask for him to strengthen you. I actually just got off a prayer time with our team and as we were praying as a team we really felt and saw rivers of refreshing washing over his people. And so listen, I know you're weary. I know this season has been long. You've been standing in the gap for your sons and daughters and for many other sons and daughters as well. But I am asking and we're going to pray here in just a moment together. I want to invite you to pray with us because there really is, you know, we can pray and, and his spirit is so uh, faithful. You know, there's no distance. You can hear that in this video. But also, listen, there's something about coming together on these prayer calls that really there, there's a synergy in the spirit. And so I invite you to come on with us. And I declare over you today, I just want to stand and agree with all of heaven, first of all, for your destiny that you are a son and a daughter, and that even though you're in a wilderness season, I, I see many of you are in a wilderness season, but I hear that it's not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. Oh, that Amaz the Amazon man is here. And our dog loves the Amazon man, so. Agape. Okay, okay, we got it. And so I ask that the Lord would strengthen you with his might and power in your inner being. And so, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are a strength and a shield. Oh, God, I thank you that as we stand in the gap for our families and we are believing. Listen, this is not partial restoration. Like, we are not okay with just, like, halfway. We are believing that everything that the locusts have devoured in the previous season that the Lord is restoring into your family. And so God, we stand together and we believe, Lord, we agree with all of heaven for the destiny of our sons, for the destiny of our daughters, for the destiny of our family members, for marriages, God, that we operate in one voice and one spirit. God, I thank you that out of Psalm 46, that you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And God, we don't have to be afraid because your perfect love literally casts out all fear. And so 
Thank you, Father, that you are washing over your people with your perfect love, that where we have this orphan mentality of religion, we have to do more, we have to be more. And I just think of that woman at the well who had that encounter, like that one encounter, and it literally changed her whole lens, you know? She went back to a city and, hey, I met a man who knew everything about me, and she knew he was the Messiah. Her life was changed by that one encounter, the mindsets that she had carried for so long that she didn't even realize were abnormal. That changed in one moment. And so I prophesy that over you and I speak and I say, the spirit of the Lord is changing mindsets. God, I ask, Father, that you would uproot strongholds and minds in Jesus' name. Father, where religion has lent a perspective of perfection and performance, and programs, Lord, I thank you that you're uprooting out of Jeremiah 1, that you're uprooting and that you are rebuilding and planting, oh God. We thank you and we praise you, God, for every intercessor who is willing to stand in the gap for their families. And we bless them. We bless them, God. I thank you that it's your joy that's our strength today and we receive your joy. Hey, I hope you'll pray with us tomorrow. I love you. I gotta go today. I have a date with my son who is on spring break. And so when your 17 year old says, hey, you wanna hang out on my spring break? This mom is like, um, yes. So gotta go, it's short today, but I just wanted to remind you that he is strengthening you through and through and through. I love you guys, I'm standing with you. We are gonna see the, the fullness of the promise that he's given to us and so, We'll see you tomorrow. We'll hear you tomorrow. Keep on pressing, guys. Don't give up. Perseverance in Jesus' name. See you soon.